Hello. This short video is going to show you how to participate in an iLearn discussion. First thing you're going to do once you're logged into your iLearn course is you're going to scroll through the course and you're going to find the right discussion. Let's say I'm going to uh, participate in this discussion called Sampling Distance Education. In order to open the discussion forum, just like any other iLearn activity, I would just click on it once and watch it to open. Now I can see there's already a discussion happening here. Now if I wanted to add a new discussion topic, which would be adding my own thread, uh, I would just click this button, add a new discussion topic. Now what I'm going to do is read the instructions here at the top that the instructors put here, and the following instructions I'm going to write my own post. So my subject's going to be um, a post. I'm going to just say, how do I do this? And then I'm going to um, type in my, my uh, message here. So this is my message, whatever it happens to be. This is my message. I don't type very well. You probably type better. Uh, if you're going to write a long message here, I suggest that you cut and paste from a Word document or a other kind of word process document. That way, if you somehow lose connection, you don't lose your long post in the middle of uh, doing it. And it's frustrating to have to do that more than once. Once I've um, typed in my message, and I can decide if I want to add a, a, a document to this, attach a file, I can attach a file. Let's say I want to attach a file. Uh, this happens to be a file I'll attach, and I know I have a limit here of 500 kilobytes. That's good for most Word documents. If your instructor has asked you to put some sort of media files attached here, they'll usually make this a much larger number. And then I click uh, the Post to Forum. Once I click the Post to Forum button, the message is going to be posted. You can see I'm waiting here for iLearn. I have 15 minutes to edit it if I want to make any changes. What, that mean, what does that mean? Well, if I click on my message, I get this little edit icon, and if I want to make changes to it, I have up to 15 minutes to do this. Well, why the 15 minutes? Why the 15 minutes? It's because um, uh, iLearn will send out an email uh, to every student who's subscribed to this forum um, about the forum posts that have happened. Now, most students will get this in a digest format once a day, but some students might get uh, an email for every single post, and that happens 15 minutes after the original post has been made. There, if I made an edit, I can click Save the Changes, and voila, it's all ready to go. That's how I create a new forum post. Let's say my job is also to reply to some student post. So let's just pick this student post. Uh, uh, I read the post. I have something to say to it. I just click this little reply button. Easy enough. And then my reply, I get to choose the subject line. Uh, normally, I'll just leave the re, as in regarding uh, the original post, although I could add something to the, to the uh, beginning. I might just say, congratulations. This is a fabulous post. So maybe I'm going to type in a congratulations leaving the re in there so they can track that along. Uh, and I'll just say, what a great post. Now, this itself is not a great post, unless that's all I want to do, is just say, hey, I'm, I'm just giving you an affirmation for the post that you've made. Normally, in a post, a reply to a post, you'll, you'll add some more in-depth information, maybe ask a question, uh, try to spur the conversation along. OK, so there's what a great post. Once again, I can attach a file if I want. I don't need to attach a file to this one. And then I can just click Post to Forum. Once I click Post to Forum, I wait a second or two. Once again, I have 15 minutes to make changes to my edits. Um, I'm not going to make any changes to this. That's such a great post. I'm done. 